some standard six pupils poured equal volumes of boiling water at the same time in three cups as presented by the diagram below. They then left the cups on the desk for 10 minutes and measured the temperature of the water in each cup. If the cups were all of the same size, color, thickness and shape, which one of the following statement is like is most likely to be correct? The temperature of the water in looking at the question it 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 it, it requires the knowledge about the transfer of it. When it comes to transfer of heat, we have good conductors and bad conductors. It is good to note that all metals are good conductors. They can conduct heat from one point to another. On the other side, when you look at things like plastics, clay, rubber, all of them are bad conductors. Therefore, we're looking at the experiment, the metro cup. Since metals are good conductors, they conduct it conducted that heat and gave it to the atmosphere. So the temperature was the lowest. When you look at the clay cup and the plastic, the plastic and the clay cup are poor conductors. So it took time for them to lose the temperature. So it is good to say how it is true to say the temperature of the water in the metal cup was the lowest. A pupil heated water in a container is shown in the diagram below. We have water, Q, P, and then we have source of heat. Select from the following the main method by which it traveled from point P to point Q. It as a source of energy can be transferred from one point to another. So we have what you call the heat transfer. So heat can be transferred through three main ways. One, we have conduction. Conduction is a method of heat transfer that takes place in metals, especially the good conductors. In other words, all solids. Then we have the second method of heat transfer, which is convection. Convection is a method of heat transfer that takes place in both liquids and gases. Then we have the third method of heat transfer that is called radiation. This is a method of heat transfer that does not require any medium for it to be transferred from one point to another. So it can travel through a vacuum. Therefore, looking at the experiment, the heat moved from point P 
to point Q. So looking here, we have water, which is a liquid. So since it's a liquid, the method that was responsible. So between now the stand and the sufria there, since the sufria there is a solid, the method of heat transfer there, it was conduction. Since conduction is the mode of heat transfer that takes place in all solids and especially in good conductors of heat, which are metals. But then from here, the heat from the sulfuria heated the water at the ground here and it became less dense. So from there, the water rose through the mineral, reducing it to the undigested water to the point Q. So the mode of E transfer that took place from point P to Q is convection. The diagram below shows water in a container being heated. So we have the diagram there, we have Y and then we have X. Then we have source of heat, then we have superior with water and then a stand. Heat is transferred from point X to Y by. So when we look at the mode of heat transfer or method of heat transfer, we have three method in which now it can be transferred. One is conduction. Conduction is a method of heat transfer that takes place in solids. These solids can either be good conductors or poor conducted. But it's good to note that metals are good, or are good conductors of heat. Two, we have convection. Convection is a mode of heat transfer that takes place in liquid and gases. Then we have the third method, which is radiation. Radiation is a mode of heat transfer that takes place in vacuum. In other words, it does not require any medium for it to be transferred from one point to another. When you talk of mediums, mediums can either be solids, It can also be liquids or gases. So for radiation, it does not require either of these for it to take place. Therefore, looking at our experiment, we have point X, which is the heat passing through the sulfuria. Since the sulfuria is a metal, the mode of heat transfer that took place there is conduction. So at X here, it was conduction. After conduction, then the water near the sulfuria got heated. And when it got heated, then it became less dense. So it had to be pushed by the cold water at the top there to raise. So it raised through the mindu here, losing it to the undigested cold water. So by the time it reaches at the top there, it, uh, it is cold and more dense than the water at the bottom. So it pushed it again down and again down. It set what you call convectional current. Therefore, in the process, the, the heat was able to be transferred in the liquid until it reaches point Y through those convectional current. Therefore, the mode of heat transfer there, it is 
convection. Therefore, the correct answer there is conduction and convection. Ali obtained two identical containers. He painted one black and the other white. He then put equal amounts of water in the two containers and left them in the sunshine for the same length of time. Which of the following statement about the water is true? The temperature of the water in the... Therefore, looking at the explanation of the question, then we get two things. Here we have black paint and white paint. One of the container, he had painted black, and the other one, he had painted white. So, we need to know something about black and white colors. Black colors are good absorbers of heat and poor remitters. They do not lose heat quickly. On the other side, we have white color. They are poor observers of it. Also, they, it reflects it away. And also, they are good emitters. they give out it easily. Therefore, when we look at the two containers there, they were left in the sunshine for equal time. Therefore, the one with black color, the temperatures were likely or were higher than that on white container. The reason is that the black color in the black container absorbed a lot of heat that caused the temperature in the water to raise. While now, the one in the white container, it reflected away heat and it absor absorbed less heat. So the temperatures were less. So the correct answer or explanation of that is that the black container would be higher or the temperature in the black container will be higher than that of the white container. The diagram below represents a setup that can be used to demonstrate a certain process. We have container or glass jar. Inside we have water, then sand, the source of it. The process demonstrated is when you look at the experiment, it's trying to demonstrate method of heat transfer. So we have three methods of heat transfer, whereby we have conduction, convection, and radiation. When you talk of conduction, conduction takes place in solids like metals, wood, rubber, plastics, all those are solids. But when you look at the solid, we have some which are good conductors and others that are poor conductors. Then when it comes to convection, we have, it takes place in liquids and gases. 
Then radiation, this one does not require any medium. And when I talk of medium, here we talk of solids are the mediums, liquids, and gases. So it does not require any of these to take place. In other words, it takes place through a vacuum or an empty space. Therefore, looking at the experiment, we have water. Inside the water, we have sand, and then we have the source of it. The experiment was trying to demonstrate convection in liquid. What happens that when the sufria was heated, then it heated water at the base there. Then the water at the base became hot and less dense. So it was pushed by the cold water at the top there to raise and it raised through the mindu there. As it raised, it lost or it lose it loses some of its heat to the adjacent water, cold water there. So by the time it reaches at the top there, it is cold again and more dense. So it continues pushing the water downward or the cold water pushes the warm water upward. So it sets what you call convectional current. The sand at the bottom there, it was seen raising up through the mintu and coming back to the bottom through the sides. So this is what you call convectional current. The convectional current are as the result of the convection of heat in liquid taking place. Therefore, the method of heat transfer that was being demonstrated there, it was convection. The diagram below represents a person warming himself by the fire. So you have the person, we have the fire there. Which one of the following shows how heat reaches the hands and the feet? Going back to the experiment or to the diagram, then we have it, and then this it has to be transferred to the hands and also to the feet. So this one takes us back to amount of it transfer. So we have three methods of it transfer. That is, we have conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction, this one takes place in solids. Convection in liquids and gases. Then the radiation takes place in a vacuum. It does not require any medium for it to, or for it to be transferred through radiation from one point to another. Therefore, looking at the diagram there, we have the heat raising from here upward there. So here, you'll find now, here we have now gas, since the nature does not allow vacuum. So the it reached the ants through convection. Since convection is the method of heat transfer or method of heat transfer that it takes place in liquids and gases. So here we are talking about gases. So it reached the ant through convection. It is good to note that convection takes place upward. It does not take place sideways. So it goes upward. Then from there we have now the heat coming from the source coming to the feet. So when you look at 
the space between the fire and the feed there is gas there are air, there is air there but we have said now convection uh, convection is the amount of heat transfer that takes place in liquid and gases and then we have said now convection takes place upward so it cannot take place sideways therefore the method through which now the heat reached the feed it was through radiation radiation since we have said now it does not require any medium for it to be transferred from one point to another then it was able to move sideways so in other words radiation moves or it through radiation moves are downwards and sideways so it was able to move sideways here until it reached the feed so the heat was transferred to the and through convection and radiation to the feed and convection radiation to the feed so the correct answer there is a a plastic bottle was placed in a carton and insulating material put around the bottle as shown in the diagram below we have the cork insulating material both plastic bottle hot water carton the bottle was then filled with hot water which one of the following would help keep water out for a longer time when you look at the experiment that was performed it wanted to test how it is transferred from one point to another so inside here we have hot water then here we have the cork the cork is a is an insulating material it prevents loss of heat through conduction then we have the insulating material here insulators are poor conductors of poor conductors of heat plastic bottle also is a poor conductor then we have hot water then a carton therefore for the water to remain hot for a longer time then the insulating material here should be used with large air spaces this will allow air to be trapped in between here and as we know heat transfer in gases takes place through convection and since now there, there there is no convection here it will be very hard for these insulator to pass it from one insulator to the other therefore minimizing the chances of the bottle losing more heat therefore the correct answer there should be using insulating materials with large air spaces as it will minimize the loss of heat through end conduction and convection the diagram below represent a setup used by pupils to compare the rate at which heat is conducted in metals we have pin brass wax copper aluminium and iron pupils would make wrong conclusion if they use when we are looking at the rate of the conductivity in metals we i think that we use one source 
of it we use words then different metals these metals they should be of the same thickness and also length then we need pins that should be placed at the same distance from the source of each so that now we compare the conductivity of this metal the conductivity comes the word conduction which is the mode of heat transfer that takes place in solids so for us to compare which in uh, where it is conducted faster then we require all those materials so they would make the wrong conclusion if they used metals of different thickness the metals should be of the same thickness and length but of different materials some should be of copper brass aluminium iron like that the diagram below represent a setup that can be used to demonstrate heat transfer in air we have p we have tube a we have a burning paper tube, paper tube b carton box we have q r and s for the demonstration to work a burning candle must be placed at look at the experiment is try to look at it transfer in air and it is transferred in gases through convection so the experiment was to was done in a convection box whereby you need to assemble the burning paper the tube a tube b point p and then we have q r and s it is good to note one when dealing with the convection the smoke has to come out through point p that is smoke comes out so for the experiment to work then the candle has to be placed at q q that is where we place the burning candle so write down paper uh, the tube paper a so that now that eat from the candle it will eat the air inside the paper tube a to raise up also it will eat the air inside the convection box therefore the cold air outside here it will push the smoke downward since the cold air here it is more dense than the air inside here so it will be pushed downward as it comes down to s the high temperatures here it means now the gases nearer to the candle here are hot and less dense therefore the smoke will move from cold areas to hot areas here and then from there it will rise through point p that one shows convection in gases therefore the candle should be placed at point q it reaches the feet of a person seated by the side of a fire by when you look at modes of heat transfer we have three modes of heat transfer or methods whereby we have conduction we have convection and then we have radiation 
So when you look at a person sitting and then uh, uh, there is fire there, Then the heat from the fire here, it will go upward there and the hands of this person will feel the warmth. So it will move through convection. Since convection is a method of heat transfer that takes place in gases and liquid, it usually takes place upward only. So it cannot take place sideways. So it cannot go this way or this way. Then we have the other method here called conduction. Conduction, it takes place in solids. So it has to move from one part of a solid, maybe let's say here, If this is the heat, and then we have the solid there. So it has to move from where it is concentrated to where it is low concentrated. So there must be a solid. So looking at our diagram here, there is no solid. Then from there, now we have radiation. Radiation is a method that does not require any medium. When you talk of medium, here it does not require any solid, it does not require any gases, it does not require any liquid. It can travel through a vacuum, whereby a vacuum is an empty space. Therefore, when you look at radiation, radiation takes place, it takes place upward, uh, sideways, and downwards. Therefore here, it is now the heat moving sideways from the source sideways. It is moving that, that direction. So the mode here it is radiation. So it moved by radiation only. In a certain investigation, pupils eat different materials and recorded their findings. Which one of the following correctly shows the pupils' findings? Materials that failed out quickly, materials that did not fill out quickly. We have materials like rubber, iron, copper, aluminium, plastic, glass, steel and wood. Therefore, looking at the type of the materials that have been used, all of them, they are solids. So, heat is transferred in solid through conduction. When you talk of conduction, we have those materials that are good conductors. So, generally, all metals are good conductors. But then we have other materials like plastic. We have things like rubber, cloths, wood. These materials do not conduct each Instead of conducting it, they usually burn into ashes. Therefore, we refer to them as poor or bad conductors of it. So they are the materials that do not, did not feel odd quickly. So 
for the material that failed out quickly, they should be good conductors only. Look at the choices that are given. A, we have rubber, which is a poor conductor. Copper, which is a good conductor. Then we have plastic, which is a poor conductor. And then steel, which is a good conductor. So both steel and copper, it failed out quickly because they are good conductors of it. They are metals. On the other side, we have materials that do not fill out quickly. They are insulators or poor conductors. They include rubber, wood, cloths, plastics. So look at what they had given. We have, we need to look at poor conductors. So iron is a good conductor. Aluminium is a good conductor. Glass is a good uh, is a poor conductor and then we have wood which is a poor conductor so it was good conductor and poor conductor of it in our case the answer is d still failed out quickly while now it took time or it took time for wood to be to transfer it from one point to another so the material did not feel out quickly. The following are activities carried out to investigate effect of heat on liquid. Placing the bottle on a source of heat, filling the bottle with colored water, fixing a straw on the cork, and closing the bottle tightly with the cork. Which one of the following is the correct order of the activities? So when investigating or when carrying out the experiment to investigate the effect of heat on liquid, first we start by collecting the materials needed. The materials that will include bottle, straw, Cork, then source of it, so when carrying out the experiment first, we fill the bottle with colored water, the colored water here it is to allow feasibility. After filling now the bottle with colored water, then you are supposed to take now the straw, then you fix it to the cork. Straw, you fix it to the cork. After fixing the straw to the cork, you close the bottle tightly using the cork. Then after that, you place it in the source of it. That is the correct order will be two, three, four, and one. It is transferred through a vacuum by when you look at methods of heat transfer we have three methods these methods include convection convection is a method of heat transfer but it takes place in liquids and gases. Two, we have conduction is a method of heat transfer that takes place in solids. Then we have three, 
we have radiation. Radiation is a method of heat transfer that does not require any medium. This medium might uh, include one solid liquids and gases. So it does not require either of those medium for it to be transferred from one point to another. Therefore it can move or it can it can be transferred through radiation in a vacuum. A vacuum refers to an empty space, a space without any medium. Therefore it is transferred through a vacuum by radiation only. The diagram below represents a setup that is used to demonstrate a certain aspects of matter. We have the burning paper, tube B, tube A, burning candle, carton. The aspect investigated is when you look at the setup, the setup is used to investigate methods of heat transfer in gases. So here we have to revisit methods of heat transfer whereby we have conduction and this one takes place in solid. Then we have convection which is a method of heat transfer in liquids and gases. Then we have radiation which is a method that does not require any medium. It takes place through a vacuum. Therefore looking at the setup we have the burning candle there, a uh, burning paper here. So the air up there, it is more dense. It will now push this smoke downwards. Then, since the candle it is there, it's going to burn the air which is here in the tube here and it will become less dense. So, it will raise up or it will be forced by the cold air to raise up. The air near the candle here, it is hot, more or, or hotter than the air which is here. So, this one has lower temperature than this one. So it is less than so it will be pushing this old air out through tube A. Therefore the smoke will go downward, then move sideways and then race through and come out through tube A. So that one is used to investigate convection in gases. The operator is called convection box. Therefore, the correct answer is convection. Heat transfer in liquids and gases takes place through. When you talk about heat transfer in liquid and gases, this one takes place through convection. Convection is among the three methods of heat transfer which involves the transfer of heat in both liquids and gases. The other two methods of heat transfer are conduction which involves transfer of heat in solids and then we have radiation which involves transfer of heat in vacuums. 
Therefore, heat transfer in liquid and gases takes place through convection. The diagram below shows a setup used by pupils to demonstrate a certain property of matter. We have the stand plug of wood, balls of wax and flame from a candle. The misstatement in the setup was to Then for looking at the setup, it was used to investigate conduction in solid. It was meant to show that solid are able to conduct it from one point to another. So the solid, they are good conductors of it. They are able to conduct it from one point all the way to the other end. Therefore, looking at the experiment, he used a plank of wood. When you look at wood, wood is an example of poor conductors. Four conductors of it. Therefore, it was unable to conduct it from one point to another. Instead, since it's a poor conductor of, uh, it's a poor conductor of it, what it does is that it burns out into ashes. So it was not able to conduct it from one point to another. So that was the mistake that the pupil meant in the setup. So instead of using a good conductor of each, they used a plug of wood, which is a poor conductor of each. Heat from a burning charcoal stove reaches the other part of a room, mainly by, when you look at how it is transferred from one point to another, it is done through three ways. Through conduction, in the case there was a solid, also through convection, in the case of liquids and gases, and then radiation in the case of a vacuum. Therefore, since this is a charcoal stove that, that was placed in a room, the heat has to travel to every corner or every part of the room through different ways. It could not be a solid because in that room, room there were no solids, so there was no any conduction that was involved. So the two methods that were involved was convection because there was gas in the room and radiation. When you talk of convection, convection usually takes place upward Therefore, all that area that was above the metal jiggle, um, the, or, or the stop, this part here, it, it was heated through convection. Then from there, there were all the other sides here also the other corners that needed to be warmed. That one was done through 
radiation. Radiation usually takes place downwards and sideways. Therefore, this sideward direction, the heat was transferred through radiation. So, the room was mainly, or the heat reached the other part of the room through radiation and convection. The diagram below represents a setup used to demonstrate certain aspects of matter. We have wax, metal rod, source of each, cardboard, pins, stand. The pins next to the candle fell off as the result of. <coughs> Looking at the demonstration, it is investigating the transfer of it in solid. The transfer of heat in solid takes place through conduction. Looking at the diagram, we had now other methods that could have been involved, but they were cut off. For example, we have the cardboard here. It could have reached this part through radiation. which is a method of heat transfer that involves heat moving sideways and downwards. Also, another method like convection could have applied. So the presence of this cardboard here, it was, it, 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 it cut off the heat in the case of being transferred through radiation. So the only option that was available was the heat from here, it has to move through this space here, upward, and that one was through convection. And then after reaching here, it, it heated this metal rod, and since metal rods are good conductors of heat, it conducted heat along the road. That's the reason the pin just next to the cardboard fell off. Therefore, the demonstration was investigating convection and conduction. That is convection in case of a gas this, this gas in between here and the conduction in the metal rod. The purpose of each of the following is insulation against heat loss except. When you talk of insulation, the materials that are used for insulating are called insulators. These insulators, they include wood, plastics, clothes, rubber, clay, all of them they prevent conduction of heat from one point to another. Mostly they are used in handles or in making handles of cooking utensils. Others like clothes, they are used to reduce loss of heat from the body. Therefore, looking at clay pots, they prevent heat from radiating away. Hence, they are able to conserve heat loss. Wooden handle, it is used to prevent one from getting burnt in case one is cooking using 
good conductors of heat. Woolen clothings, they are used to preserve body heat from escaping during cold seasons. Window curtains, they are just there to cut light from a room, but not it. So, the correct answer there is window curtains. Which one of the following pairs of materials are correctly matched with the heat transfer processes that takes place in them? We have convection and radiation. Convection and radiation are among the three methods of heat transfer that include conduction, convection, and radiation. Convection takes place in liquid and gases while radiation takes place in a vacuum. <coughs> Therefore, looking at the answers, you find now the correct answer is A, that is water and a vacuum. That is convection, water is a liquid, and then radiation vacuum. The diagram below represents a setup that can be used to demonstrate a certain aspect of heat energy. We have wood, melting wax, burning candle, and then stand. The aspect that can be demonstrated is when you look at the setup, the setup is used to demonstrate methods of heat transfer. We're looking at the diagram, we have the source of each, which is our candle here. So here we have wood. It is good to note that wood is a poor conductor. It's a poor conductor of heat. Therefore, looking at the methods of heat transfer, we have conduction, which takes place in solids, where in solids we have good conductors and poor conductors, and wood is one of the poor conductors. Then we have convection. Convection, it takes place in liquids and gases, and it takes place upward only. Then we have radiation, which is a method of heat transfer in vacuums. And this one takes place downwards and sideways. Therefore, looking at the demonstration, we have now the candle. So if we look at the heat, heat is going to raise up through convection. But on reaching the wood here, wood is a poor conductor of heat. So it will not be conducted to where the wax is. So convection cannot apply. Therefore, the heat has to radiate sideways so the first step, it is radiation. It has to radiate sideways since it radiation allows, allows the heat to move sideways. Then upon reaching this point, the heat will keep on raising until it reaches now the wax. 
Therefore, the walls will start melting. So from here, it will go up, and that is going up, it is through convection. Since convection takes place in gases and upward, so it will be radiation and convection.